like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. She was like, in a perfect life, what would you do? And I'm like, I would be a gym princess. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So as you guys can tell, we're officially in quarter four. So quarter four can either be, I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the holiday, or it can be grunt time and like, I'm gonna get in preparation for my New Year's goals. So for me, I'm gonna take that route. Um, last year, I started some of my goals a little bit early before 2023. And by the time we were in the second week of January, I was seeing like <laughs> progress. So I'm like, oh, I'm definitely gonna be doing that this year. And I'm starting way before, like last year, I started my goals probably December 19th. So imagine starting three months ahead before January even gets here. So really think about that when it comes to setting your goals for the new year. Um, so for me, one of my specific goals is really just kind of working on my brands. Um, I have a few businesses that I want to get off the ground here in Texas. So those are my focuses right now. Um, specifically, I am going to be relaunching my brand, Jim Princess Lifestyle. I'm so excited. So originally, I, how I even came up with this concept was... In 2021, I had to have thyroid surgery. Um, I had a cancer scare because I had a nodule growing on my thyroid. They didn't know what it was. And I had to decide if I wanted to get half the thyroid or the whole thyroid. And I opted for half, which I'm glad I did because it turned out to be benign. So I still have half a thyroid. And it's, it's kicking, it's working, it's doing its thing. Okay, so after that, I just feel like I might have had like a grieving process that came with really losing a vital organ or at least losing half of a vital organ so it really I feel like played on my psyche so I got into therapy after I had the surgery and everything and um my therapist asked me she's like I just think at this point I was just kind of confused in life in general I'm like what the heck am I doing like we're in the middle of a pandemic I'm like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now she's like in a perfect life what would you do and I'm like I would be a gym princess and she's like, what does that mean? And I'm just like a person who just truly like cares about her health and advocates for people who don't know these things. I just feel like so many people I know are struggling with hormonal issues. They have fertility issues. People have PCOS. People have thyroid issues. Like so many people around me just in my immediate circle are dealing with these issues. And it's like, I don't feel like there's a lot of education out there in the space. Like in this in in the black space, I would say like everything I've learned, I've seen from a white creator, and I'm, that's no shade or anything. But I do think there is a space where black people need to know how to take care of themselves. They need to know that the things that they're ingesting is not necessarily good. Your stress load plays a big part in everything. So Jim Princess lifestyle is literally just all about taking care of you, getting into your gym girl era, getting into your healthy girl era, getting into your courageous era. Like it's literally, it is a lifestyle. And when I originally started the actual t-shirt brand, um, which I'm wearing one right now, it was kind of just like, I just want to make shirts for girls that can wear to the gym. But as I put this business on pause when I moved to Texas, I really took some time to really just evaluate and think of what I wanted it to look like. So therefore I am relaunching in November and it is gonna be more so more than just a, a business of t-shirts that are cute for people to wear to the gym, but it's gonna be more so an educational space where people can come and learn like the things that they just don't know. They can come and find yummy recipes. They can have real and raw conversations as well as, you know, have the shirts, have the keychains that will keep you like uplifted and inspired. So yes, I'm excited to be relaunching that. Um, so that is my main goal for 2024. So I just want to do in this last quarter get myself in preparation for that to be actually rolling and rolling good so i'm launching november 6 and in these next few weeks i'm going to be dropping content just my behind the scenes on how i'm going to be getting in preparation for this launch um, i'm going to be talking about my marketing strategies my marketing plans for each month because you guys have to think about it we have november and december those are months that you can if you have a business yourself you can really think about how you can 
um, actually capitalize during that time, how you can build so much brand awareness during that time. And because of the holidays, people are already shopping. You can do sales around like stocking stuffers and stuff like that. So I just want you guys to really, really put that into perspective if you're a person here who is coming for like, you know, the branding and marketing advice that I usually give. So keep that in mind. Um, another goal I have for myself is just like a personal goal. I want to just be more healthy in general. I feel like I'm pretty decent. I don't I don't feel like I do anything too wild. But what I want to focus more so on just personally for me, I want to focus on cycle syncing. And I've done cycle syncing a little bit, but not like in an extreme kind of way. Um, I make sure I'm very cognizant of what workouts I'm doing in each phase of my cycle. And then I try to eat based on like the list that they give for your cycle due to me being vegetarian it's obviously going to look a lot different than what they have on like those guys that are on the internet but another thing i just feel like just me mildly doing cycle syncing it has done a major like transformation in my life and i would say definitely when it comes to my actual period my actual cycle i used to have such painful 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 periods to the fact where I was literally popping Motrin 800. Like, as soon as it was, as soon as I hit that window for it was safe for me to take another one, I was popping another one. I was popping Motrin before the period even came because I already knew the cramps was gonna be crazy. But, like, this past year, I have not had any like detrimental cramps. Like, I've, I can count on one hand how many times I've actually taken ibuprofen because I haven't really needed it. Now, however, my last cycle was terrible, but I do know that I was just doing some off the wall stuff my last cycle. My boyfriend came to town and I just kind of felt like I wasn't cognizant of my natural routine of what I had been doing. Like he lives in Michigan and I live in Texas. So when we're together, we wanted to have fun. We wanted to go out. We wanted to drink. And it was just like I wasn't really taking care of myself in the best way. So it is important your body reacts to how you treat it versus like what you're putting in it and how you're moving like that is going to play a big impact on your hormones and how your cycle comes like when i was younger my cycle used to be like 10 days I'm not even gonna lie i used to come like 10 it would be 10 days heavy and then it would come like every 31 days but i've officially gotten my cycle down to about four Four-ish, five days, five is like pushing it with like little to no cramps. So I, I swear by cycle syncing and I haven't even done it in its full capacity. So that is one goal that I do have for my court, fourth quarter, like specifically for me. And then lastly, I want to up my Pilates classes. I just feel like one of the goals that I had for last year was, well not for last year, for this year, was to feel more comfortable in my skin and I have gotten to a point to where I definitely feel more comfortable in my skin. I go to workout classes like I usually do cycling on Saturdays and then I do Pilates once during the week and what I like about Pilates is it is not like extremely strenuous on the body and I kind of feel like just being a person who is I would say hormonally challenged just because I do have have because I do have half of the thyroid. The thyroid controls a lot of your hormones and the functions of your body. So I try to be a little bit more gentle on myself because I used to feel like prior to me ever having the issues, I used to go hard in the gym. I used to fast. I used to, I used to just do all kinds of crazy stuff. And I just feel like the older I get, I realize you really have to treat your body with a lot more like careness and love. So I opted into doing Pilates and I just feel like I am shaped up very nice, very nice in my waist. It's like chef's kiss, but like everything else, I feel like I need to be going more. Like I specifically want to work on my arms. I'm okay with my legs, but like my waist, love it. But I feel like if I was going more frequently, it would do more to my arms because like if you're only going once a week and you're only doing like technical like that would be a strength training kind of move like if you're only doing that once a week that's not really helpful for your muscle building and I really need to work on that so that is one of my goals so I'm super happy about 
that it can be kind of pricey but i just feel like when you find what works for, when you find what works for you you just have to do it those are my goals but specifically i just wanted to let you guys know in this video that i am relaunching my business gym princess lifestyle please stay tuned as i'm going to be going through behind the scenes of my launch and these next few videos and just kind of going through this marketing process and building a branding awareness for this business and obviously like it, it i find the business like to be like cute sayings for the gym but i really want this to be a movement i really want this to inspire i really want this to help other people because there's so many people in need and it's like so much conflicting stuff on the internet so i feel like this needs to be a safe place to where people can come and they can feel comfortable in whatever kind of journey that they are on so i want you guys to go to the description below i want to know your quarter four goals what are you working on are you chilling are you getting prepared for 2024 and then also be sure to sign up for my mailing list at jimprincesslifestyle.com so you guys won't miss anything my youtube family is definitely going to get like special treatment you're going to get some discounts first look at things so be sure to make sure you're staying up to date with that and i hope you guys enjoyed this video when you guys hop off i want you guys to head over to jimprincesslifestyle.com and be sure to sign up for our emailing list so you guys can stay up to date get the first look get coupon codes all that good stuff and once you're done with that please head over to our instagram where you can find us at jimprincesslifestyle over there as well hey.